Hi everyone, my name is Alejandra Chacon and I'm going to present a case of chlorine dioxide overdose present as hemolytic anemia and drug-induced liver injury. A 44-year-old man with no significant story present with coke and fever in April of this year. He received cephalosporin and acetaminophen without improvement. He went to a physician who suspect infection by SARS-CoV-2 and indicate chlorine dioxide. The dose is mentioned on the poster. One week later, the patient began with general discomfort, sickness, jaudins, and choleria. So he was admitted to our unit on May 14. Upon admission in our department, the use of other types of hepatotoxic drugs or herbal compounds were discarded. On physical examination, generals, howdens, and hepatomegaly were found without encephalopathy or bleeding. The initial laboratory showed moderate anemia with peripheral blood smear with schistocytes. He had hyperbilirubinemia at expense of direct, severe transaminacemia, elevated lactate dehydrogenase, and alkaline phosphatase. The ratio of alanine transferase to alkaline phosphatase was 26 and to lactate dehydrogenase was 1.57. The chlorine times and electrolytes were normal. Abdominal ultrasound only report hepatomegaly and male splenomegaly. ANA in monoglobulins and uretcums were negative. After two weeks of treatment, the transaminosemia and hemolysis resolved without additional complications or sequels. In conclusion, a case of a patient with dialy and hemolytic anemia as a manifestation of chlorine dioxide overdose has been reported, representing possibly fatal complications due to the ingestion of this component. Timely diagnostic and, above all, knowledge of the danger of use of chlorine dioxide should be emphasized in the scientific and no scientific community to avoid relief deaths. Thank you.